Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss tic-tac-toe game playing. This is the third approach to solve this uh, tic-tac-toe game. The other approaches I have already solved and the link for those videos is given in the description below. As discussed earlier, tic-tac-toe game is a paper pencil game of two players X and O. They chooses to mark the spaces on a grid of 3 by 3. The player who succeeds in putting three of their marks in a horizontal, vertical or diagonal line will be the winner in this case. In the first case, X is the winner here. Second case, again X is the winner. And third case, O is the winner as shown in this particular diagram. Now, I will go with uh, the third approach. To solve the tic-tac-toe game with the third approach, we need a data structure of uh, a nine element array representing the current uh, board position. So when we uh, have this particular current board position, something like this, let us say that this is the current board with the three by three grid. Uh, let us assume that X has played over here, O has played over here, uh, maybe O is over here and X has played over here and so on. So these are some of the possible uh, cases are there. Let us say that O has played one more here and X has played over here. Now, from this particular current board position, what will happen is uh, we need to store the list of uh, board position that could result from this particular next move. So what are the possible next move? Let us assume that uh, X has played first. Now, the next turn is again X over here. So what X can where X can play here, here it can, it can play. So that will be the one possible move. X can play over here. So that's another move here and X can play over here. So there is a third move over here. Now, from this particular case, we will go on um, uh, making moves unless and until this particular either X uh, will win or there is a draw over here. If X will win, it, this particular uh, path will give you 1. If there is a draw, this will give you 0 in this particular case. The same thing happens over here also. The same thing happens over here also. The one path which will give you the maximum uh, value that is called as the rating in this case, that path will be selected from this particular current position over here. So from the current position, we will make all the moves. The one which will give you the maximum rating that will be considered as the best move from this particular current position over here. So this we will try to understand with a very simple example. Let us assume that this is the initial state. O has played at these three places and X has played at these three places. Assume that X has played first. Now the next uh, move should be made by X. So X can play over here or over here or over here. So there are three possible cases are there at this particular place. So now if X has played over here, uh, this is the possible board state. If X has played over here, this is the possible state. If X has played over here, this is the possible state over here. So this is actually the current state from this particular current state. We are trying to know out of these three, which one is best over here. So for that reason, we have made these three possible moves over here. Again, uh, we, we don't know whether X has won or not or whether there is a uh, draw or something like that. So what we do is from here onwards, we will try to choose the next possible move. Now the next move is uh, from O. So O can play here or it can play over here. Similarly, O can play here or here. O can play over here or over here. So once it plays uh, any of those particular possibilities, in the first case it has played over here, second case here. Similarly, we have put O and in each and every uh, board position over here. The next step what will happen is again you can see here X has uh, not one till and uh, it is not a draw also. So the next turn is X. X will play here or here or here and so on. So that will be shown something like this. In this case, uh, uh, if you look at this particular board, uh, none of the players have won. There is uh, X has not won and uh, O has not won. But when it comes to this one, you can see here uh, this one, this uh, diagonally all the three X are present. So X has won here, here also X has won, here again X has won, here also X has won. And in this case, none of them have won. So that's the reason it is a draw over here. Now, whenever uh, we get something like this one draw, we will return what is that called as the zero in this case. And whenever there is a win, we will return one in this case. So that is what has been written in this particular case. So that is what is called as a backtracking unless and until we reach to this particular current board position. So uh, if we return one here, uh, this because it's a win, it will be returned one over here. Similarly, because it's a win, we will return one over here. This is also one. And this is also one because it is a win. And because this is a draw, we will return 0 over here. Now from here onwards, here it is 0. 
so this 0 will be returned to this particular case and this is a 1 so 1 will be returned over here and then this 1 and 0 so what will be returned to this one is 1 over here now coming back to this one here it is 1 here it is 1 from here to here it is 1 again from this part of thing we have 1 over here so this will be 1 over here so this one and this one both will be returned to this particular uh, uh, parent this will become 2 in this case now coming back to this one uh, because this is a win 1 over here from here to here to here it is 1 from here to here it is 0 because it is a draw 1 plus 0 again from here to here it will be 1 in this case so if I follow this particular path I am going to get the 1 as the rating if I follow this particular path I am going to get 2 as the rating if I follow this one I am getting 1 as the rating over here so because of that we will choose this one so the next possible move will be something like this one so current uh, board position i will draw and show you first and then i will show you the next move so current board position is zero here o here o here x here o here x and x over here out of these three this is the best one so that is nothing but x over here so x will be placed over here and then we will continue from here onwards uh, because now this will become the current board position okay so that is how actually uh, the third approach is followed to solve a tic-tac-toe game in this case now uh, we will discuss uh, some of the comments with respect to third approach followed to solve a tic-tac-toe game the third approach uh, will require more time compared to the other two approaches uh, what we have solved already the reason is very simple uh, in this case we have to consider all those particular possible paths from the current state based on uh, those particular paths we will select one path so how we select it uh, we will uh, uh, see what is the possibility of win if there is a win we will return one otherwise it will return zero so now what happens is uh, uh, it will take that particular reading as the rating for that particular path the one path which will give you the maximum rating that will be considered here so to do all this particular thing uh, it will take a lot of time that's the first and uh, foremost comment here the second one is uh, this approach is extensible to handle uh, you can say that other games like uh, three dimensional uh, tic-tac-toe uh, in this case we have discussed a two dimensional tic-tac-toe this approach can be used to uh, solve three dimensional tic-tac-toe game also and uh, it can also be used to extend or can say that can be used to solve other uh, complex uh, games over here because the approach is uh, uh, fairly generalized over here because of that we can use this particular approach to solve the other games also so in in this video we have discussed the third approach to solve a tic-tac-toe game in other videos i have already discussed the first and second approach the link for those videos is given in the description below I hope uh, you understood this uh, particular concept or the approach to solve the uh, tic-tac-toe game. If you like this particular video, do share this video with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.